Well, well what was supposed to be uh, peaceful elections are, yeah, are being transformed into a um, chaotic situation with, with demonstration in Kinshasa and with uh, contests in, in, in different parts of the country. Unfortunately, this is very likely to lead us to another cycle of contested, the contested legitimacy. A, uh, a, a trend in DRC for the last uh, 20 or 30 years. And unfortunately, this election, which could have at least put an end to that cycle of, of, of uh, fight around legitimacy, will only uh, bring to another five years where the, uh, the, 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 the one who will win uh, this election will be very likely contested by, by the rest of the population by the rest of the opposition, I would say. Now, Fred, uh, similar election chaos were witnessed in the la last general election. And uh, what seems amiss here, and what can the electoral board, Shani, do differently? So unlike the, uh, the last elections, where the, uh, the result itself was uh, almost, almost ignored uh, in favor of a deal, in this case, uh, people mobilize uh, uh, massively to go to vote, and actually the uh, the electoral commission was was the one not ready logistically uh, to to organize uh, to organize um, ele election. So that is one one uh, one difference between between this election and and, and the, the last one. And the reason of that, I believe, is is partially um, the uh, the fact that the the Seni, um uh, surrounded to political pressure, political imperative actually uh, led the Senate to 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 ignore mm -hmm. the the fact that they were not logistically ready to hold the election on the on, on the twentieth as as they were planned. Mm -hmm. I believe if the Senate could postpone this election for a week or two, maybe we would have uh, a very different situation right now. Fred, very quickly. Now, incumbent president Shisekedi is said to lead the pack in this election. What happens if he takes the presidency? What changes might he bring to the Congolese people? Well, if, if uh, President Shisekedi remains in power, because he's already in power, um, people expecting him to do a lot of things. Many, many people, especially in East and DRC where I am, uh, those who voted for him uh, did so because of they expecting him to put an end to a, a long uh, time conflict that has caused uh, hundreds of thousands of, of, of uh, victims and uh, millions of uh, displaced people. Today we have seven uh, million of displaced so people uh, in Eastern DRC are expecting him at least to bring uh, peace or to work for for peace. In uh, the rest of the country, there is also call for. Um, access to health care, to, to share prosperity uh, in, in the country where one of the countries is not right. to be rich and where people live in, in immense poverty. Fred, thank you very much for your insight. We'll follow up as uh, the days you know, get closer to when we know the final results. Fred Bauma is a senior fellow at New York University's Center on International Cooperation.